Hey guys, welcome to another video. Oh, yes, I am sick. That's why my voice might sound more quiet and stiff, but in this video, I'm just going to show you or explain to you what the four, like, four eye loops are for. And if you hear a lot of sniffling, that's because my nose is being annoying. So, let's start with this. So, let's make a script real quick. I'm just going to make a local script, I guess. We'll put this instead of starter GUI. Actually, I'm just going to make a service script instead of service script service. So, pretty much a for loop is a loop that is a loop as many times as there are objects in the location you want it to loop in if that makes any sense i'm not completely sure in what way to um say that but so once you got your script after that i'm just gonna do game not player not player added connect function player because i just want to get when a player joins the actual game so once a player joins the game what i'm gonna do is Here's what a for loop is. So for i v in pairs do. So i is the instance, v is the object. So you can change this to obj or like item or part. But I'm just gonna do v because that's the traditional way to do it, and because it's much easier than typing out a whole entire like paragraph just to select one object so in this pairs you can get any location so what i'm going to do is game dot workspace and then i'm going to get descendants so pretty much this is going to get the this okay get descendants gets pretty much or let's just get children get children gets all of the contents in workspace or getting workspace which is a service in the game you know, we're getting every children or child that's inside of it. So for our parents, we're going to get all the children in there. So V will be assigned to the children inside of here. So I'm just going to do print V.name. So pretty much this is going to loop for as many children that are in a workspace. So there's a base plate and spawn location that are going to be the objects. So let's say... I insert more objects, bacon, ham, um, cheese, I guess. So in this 4i pair loop, it's going to loop as many times as there are objects. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 objects, and it's going to print the object's name. So of course, you could change this to obj if you'd like. It's kind of like a function where when you're doing a function you can put a variable in here like object and then you can like do print object dot name and when you call the function obviously you would just input the object name it's kind of like that how obj works i guess because like be inputted except it's kind of different i guess you could say that way so let's put this in here and let's give this a test let's close the script let's hit play also demonstrate as you can see it printed the name for each object in the workspace the camera the base plate the terrain spawn location bacon ham and cheese which is all the objects obviously if we want it to print the player too i guess we can make a little delay so wait one uh, let's do wait five seconds just to be safe so another thing that these can do is it can print for the number of objects in a table so if we do like local food items food items equals just make it an open table ham cheese or let's just make this different thing like spaghetti i don't know 
Options are like a carpet, a floor, false, new, 15, yes, yeah, that should be, so in here, I'm actually just going to close this table real quick, because I just, I could just see it better. You want to know how tables work you could look at my video for that but as you can see these are objects got on the table so what we can do is for i table ti i'm just going to do v in pairs food items do so with food items it's going to loop so let's see we have one two three four five six items inside of our food items thing so let's say we do print these this will be printed um number amount of times let's quickly press a base plate it should come out six times because that's how many objects are actually in our table so let's wait five seconds for it to work oh one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so let us see. All of these were printed, and then this will be printed number amount of times times five because printed multiple times. Must have been a value. It was not registered. I guess I'm just gonna do twenty-five. So as you can see, it does that. I'm just gonna make another wait. So it waits one second after the first just for safety once again so let me do one more you know you can just I'm just going to print an air mark so I can separate these text and I could do for I table item in pairs food items do print table item this is just going to print the table item. I'm pretty sure you might have to add extra or actually probably not. But as you can see, so this, this is going to be a string, 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 bool value or no bool, and then number. So we're going to be printing these values in their format uh, this is a bool these are string values so they're just going to be straight text and these are numbers it should print simply the same as anything else so we got a table here I'm just going to make another delay real quick so we have to wait three seconds to get a result let's quickly load this up and let's give this a little look oh oh that one pretty quickly but as you can see, so we got this will be printed number of amount of times, and then six. And then if we go into our script, we said spaghetti. There's spaghetti, carpet, we got carpet, floor, we got floor, false, 25, and 15. So you get what I mean there. So a table is pretty much a loop that will loop through every object inside of a specific location. It'll loop as many times as there are objects. And just a little thing. Get descendants. This is like get children. Except it gets the objects inside of the objects. So instead of base plate. It'll also print out texture. And in spawn location. It'll also print out decal. Because the decal is a descendant. It's like ancestry. As you can see it printed out quite a bit oh wow a lot more objects because there's a lot of objects in my character that's just what the um, get descendants is so if you just want to print everything in workspace and such that's how you can do it so yeah hopefully this video helped you and hopefully you enjoyed if I don't upload that often that's because I'm still getting better so yeah hopefully you helped and yeah bye